Hello and welcome to the HeartFit Clinic. My name is Diamond Fernandez and I'm your founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic. And today what I want to talk about is what can we do to help you if you have diagnosed cardiovascular disease. Now, cardiovascular disease comes in different ways. And so when we look at cardiovascular disease, um, you know, the big one is artery disease. And so uh, what is happening with the arteries? Usually you've had a bypass surgery or a stent or uh, you know, maybe you're on medical therapy, maybe you had an angiogram and they can't do much for you at that point. So uh, what we do is we focus on artery disease, we focus on valve disease, so we can help you with that aspect of it as well. We can look at, um, you know, there's different arrhythmias that can happen or what we call dysrhythmias, which are uh, funny rhythms happening um, while it could be at rest, it could be atrial and related, so something like atrial fibrillation or uh, SVT, supraventricular tachycardia, or ventricular arrhythmias, whatever it might be. So we can help you uh, with that part of it as well. Uh, we can also focus on uh, looking at heart failure. So that's a, a huge aspect of it as well. And you know, the, the big question we get is like, how can we help these people? What, what can we do? And of course it differs with each of those and that's where we welcome you to come in and talk to one of our uh, experts and, and talk to you how we can help you. What, what are some specific things that we can do? But I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about kind of our assessments that we can help you with, uh, with if you do have heart disease. And so uh, w one thing that we focus on is, is looking at you know, keeping track of people's disease progress because you're not gonna end up with an angiogram uh, just to see where, you, wh where your risk is of a heart attack or stroke. So we do some artery screenings to see where you're at. So we look at artery health. So we do that by ultrasound so it's safe, it's painless, there's no radiation. We look at artery function. Now, we're gonna tell you that you know, obviously you're gonna be at risk, but this is our way of now keeping track of your disease process. A lot of people see us, they have diagnosed cardiovascular disease, and these are some things that we can do to help them keep track of their disease progress. Is it getting worse? Is it getting better? Because like I said, you're not gonna get that angiogram done every time. So we look at artery health, we look at artery function, and we do some really great blood tests. And the blood tests uh, are, are stuff that we ship down to the states to kind of see where you're at with that part of it. So one thing we look at is particle size cholesterol testing. So, you know, if you do have cardiovascular disease, so we, we call it particle testing, and that's where we look at the particles of the cholesterol. You can see that down below on our assessments and what we do. So we do particle testing. We also have the ability to look at inflammation markers for heart disease because Heart disease is an inflammation disease, and so we look at that part of it as well. And then another thing that we can look at with, um, with looking at heart disease and, and that part of it is looking at micronutrient deficiencies. Um, so if you're deficient in micronutrients, that can cause a lot of problems when you look at uh, affecting different metabolic pathways down uh, on a biochemistry level. And so that's something that we look at with uh, looking at our blood tests. We also have the ability to look at, um, when, we, when we look at heart disease and, and, and that part of it, something to consider is looking at hormone dysfunction. And so what are your hormones doing? Are they at risk? Are they not? And so those are some important things that we look at. And, and if you do have diagnosed cardiovascular disease, that's why you're watching this video, you're probably taking a bunch of medications and obviously some of them are very important, but it can also make you deficient in your nutrients and hormones and cause a, a vicious cycle. So those are some things that we can kind of address even just by focusing on maybe supplementing a little bit better and, and overcoming some of those side effects that you might be getting from medications. So th those are some of the screening tests that we do, but then people always ask us, well, what are your treatment options to help me? Well, what are some things that you can do that uh, you know, my doctor can't do? What are some things that we can kind of focus on? And so, um, the, one of my favorite ones that we focus on is ECP therapy, which is external counterpulsation therapy. That's a treatment where we put uh, cuffs on your calves, your thighs, and your buttocks, and it pumps blood back up to the heart. And it does this for an hour each time. And the repetitiveness of doing that actually helps what we call, there's a few things that ends up happening, a lot, actually a, a bunch of things, but it actually grows new arteries and it improves artery function. That's pretty much what it focuses on. So we see people that 
you know, are on the verge of heart failure and actually now have good heart function. Or we see people who have coronary artery disease now all of a sudden growing a whole bunch of collateral arteries, not needing a, a bypass surgery or a stent or, or something to that effect. So ECP therapy is one of my favorite treatment options. And then we also focus on lifestyle changes. And so lifestyle changes, you might need help um, you know, you might have valvular disease or you might have arrhythmias or something to that effect. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about nutrition, what foods that you should be focusing on, uh, exercise. Exercise is our best medicine and how to do that safely and effectively. So we look at those parts of it. So we look at exercise, we look at nutrition, we look at kind of supplements that you should be taking uh, with nutrition and obviously focusing on stress management. Uh, we have cardiac yoga programs and, and DVDs to kind of help you with your heart health that way. So that's really how we can help you prevent and reverse heart disease and focus on really helping people live longer with heart disease. That's really our focus with that part of it. I mean, we've seen people you know, well into their 90s with cardiovascular disease and that's what we do and that's what we love doing what we do. So we look forward to seeing you in our clinic and if you have any questions, comments or observations, please let us know. Obviously, we hope you wish you live happier, healthier and longer.